What do we think of when we think of the law? Is it a system designed to protect us or to punish us? Is it about limiting our freedom or about safeguarding our way of life? It's easy to think of the law in terms of severe punishment, infamous criminals and their dreadful crimes. But high-profile court cases, civil or criminal, that dominate our newspapers, radio and TV, are just one part of the law. For most of us, they have little effect on our day-to-day -day experience. The fact is, however, that the law has a deep impact on almost every aspect of our lives. When we go to work, we expect to be treated fairly and be paid a minimum wage. When we buy goods, we expect that they will work properly. When we enter into a contract, we expect that the other party will honour the contract terms. When we create something, say music or a book, we expect that our work will be protected from piracy. When we cross the street, we expect that other road users will observe the rules of the road and respect our safety. In a perfect world, there would be no need for laws. Everyone would treat each other with the utmost respect, care and consideration. But that's not what happens in real life, and so the law has evolved through our experience of human behaviour. The law affects us all in ways and in areas that we might not normally consider. Sometimes we take it for granted that we will be treated fairly by others. But would this be the case if there were not laws out there that govern our behaviour?